So that's something I've noticed about this this chat. A lot of people that watch me, rather than watching a million other VTubers, there are also a lot of folks that found me through like friends of mine that are flesh streamers, right? That are not VTubers at all. You know, obviously the GTA arc did a lot of that, but before that as well, there are a lot of people that, that found me through just random flesh streamers and stuff. And I, I see comments all the time. They'll be like, I never thought I'd see you hang out with so-and-so or so-and-so or so-and-so because they're just not used to like VTubers integrating and vice versa. I'll invite a random flesh streamer to a thing and they'll be like, I did not think I would see that person here, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I think I think we've done like a, a pretty good job of that, just mostly because of who I'm friends with. And I, I think that makes us, I would call it a gateway community. Um, so now let's describe the community a little more. Sim and chatters are generally tired tech workers are on average because a lot of you are not a lot of you are not are i'll say i'll say uh, my median my median chatter is likely to be an older tech worker listening to me at work as if i were a podcast i say something like hey man groceries are too damn expensive to a relatively quiet chat that will then explode with people saying hell yeah brother here is what i spent on hey Giga, groceries congratulations by the way on <laughs> in the, the last Vicho week Joe lineup q group complaint session about inflation of pricing at the grocery store we're a community that are that is very grounded in reality and loves to banter about everyday life. As my chat themselves have stated, they are older, gayer, and better behaved than average. I find this to be very true. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. This, this clip killed me. <laughs> here, here, here. Let me, uh, let me capture this. Let me capture this. It was just, it was just, um, Apple and Lang sitting in a car waiting around, waiting for me to move, sitting at a gas station. But listen to what he says. You guys get some up. petrol? Yeah. Oh shit, fair enough. Some petrol. Get some petrol. I think it might be scouts. Yeah, what's your favorite meal? What's, what's your favorite meal? Chicken and a can of coke. Chicken and a fucking can of coke. What? What? Fucking petrol? <laughs> Why did he say fucking petrol like that? Like, like, what was Apple saying? Fucking petrol. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Fucking petrol. Here's some petrol. Get some petrol. Chicken and a can of coke. Chicken and a fucking 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 can of coke. Chicken God, I love, I love GT. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. I was, I was dying. I was dying. And then they did the chicken and a can of Coke me. <laughs> oh my God. You know what's funny to me? So like, I, I like laugh a lot in between everything I'm doing and saying in GTA. I watch myself from other people's POVs. I see my character talking and I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. And I'm like, wow, I sound, I sound and seem so fucking serious all the time <laughs> from their POVs. <laughs> like constantly it's just funny like that it's funny like that it's so different because normally when i stream variety i'm streaming collabs with people and everything i'm so used to being open mic so everyone hears everything when i laugh at a thing you know it's just it's all heard but then when you play something like this and you're playing a character and and you're all pushed to talk they don't get like <laughs> all that extra shit <laughs> And I think it's just, a, I don't know, from the streamer perspective, it's such a different experience streaming like that. Using open mic versus push to talk for, for content, right? Like in a content kind of way. Very interesting. Their watchers probably think you're so serious. Oh, it's so true because I'll watch, like a lot of time when there's a fun situation or a thing happens, I'll like later while I'm eating, I'll watch that scenario from like one of my streamer friends' POVs, right? So they can like... I, I like, I'm just curious to see like what it looked like from their perspective. And I'll see so many people in their chats being like, what is she saying? She, what, she, she's mad. <laughs> like they think I'm like a super serious person, not just the character like me as well. You know, it's, it's really funny. It's really funny. It makes me, you know, it makes me wish the VTubers did that with their names more. I think, I think it, it should be, 
it should be done more. I, I know not everyone wants a funny name, but like drag queens do this a lot. Drag queens often have like really, really, really funny like pun names. Almost all of their names are, are puns in some kind of way. And um, I wish more VTubers did that. <laughs> yeah, Baloo Balls. <laughs> Is it because it won't be as marketable? Oh yeah, like names that are all joke names for VTubers. Um, I guess, yeah, those names, it, it, like they make sense when you read them out loud. You, you get the joke then. And I think um, if you have a username like that, people won't get it unless it's super obvious. And then if it's super obvious, it's probably not as good of a name, right? I don't know, that's just my thought, but I wish people did it more. There's like, like <laughs> a lot of drag queen names get really wild, really wild. But they're also like really stupid ones like um, Anita Man, Anita Man, always classic. There's one named Karen from Finance. You can imagine what kind of character she is. And I would, I would love if like a lot of VTubers did that. Just in case, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I almost named my Maya Peanuts. I almost named my cop character um, Miranda Wright. I, I was like, Miranda Wright would be a really good one, but it wasn't, it wasn't funny. It was just like a little pun. Lucy Stool. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's. Yup, yup. Exactly, exactly. There are a lot of really good ones, man. Really good ones. Why do you have Henya withdrawal? Because Henya's sick. Henya's sick and she can't stream, which is good because like she shouldn't be streaming. She keeps trying to stream when she's not fully recovered, but mostly recovered. And it's just gonna make it worse. But, but I miss Henry. Yeah, she's on hiatus. She needs to be, she needs to be. I mean, she had COVID and then while she had COVID, she developed pneumonia from it. And pneumonia, it's one of those sleepers, right? Like it, it just it just takes a lot of time for you to fully recover from it, but you're gonna feel like you're recovered way earlier than you are. So it's easy to be like, oh, I could stream. And then, and then you stream and then the next day you're feeling like shit because you're not actually fully recovered, you know? And pneumonia is serious, you know? So it's better to just like actually rest, <laughs> actually properly rest. I mean, it's it sucks because same thing happened to Haruka, right? She had bronchitis really bad, just just normal bronchitis. And then she got COVID. And then as she was not testing positive for COVID anymore and started to get a little better, she she had a really bad symptoms of long COVID. And then she also got bronchitis again. She developed it after that. So yeah, it was just um, rough for her. And now, and now Henya got COVID and then developed pneumonia from it. And I'm just like, ugh. What do I do? Oh. <laughs> God. Okay, out here doing your best gamer. Vishal shows an impression right now. She's cooking. I Zen needs to uh, adjust her stream titles. I think. What we need to make very clear is there. There's no one in Vishal that's a really, really good gamer. That's just like all around good at all game genres. There's no, there isn't one. Anyone trying to claim it's them is is on crack, dude. <laughs> We don't have a gamer like that. People have their fortes. We don't have one that's like the best gamer. It doesn't exist. We don't got one of those. And we also have plenty of people that can't play shit and that's okay. 